how come one county can look like this like this my friend and another one looks like this guys how is it that some part of kenya can look like this like this and in another part fuel guzzlers have been purchased for campaigns you see those fuel guzzlers yes those fuel guzzlers are the ones that i'm talking about they have been purchased solely for campaigns so that they can reach these people these people how what what afiki wana fuel guzzlers so that they can vote for people with fuel guzzlers okay my friends all this has to do with corruption Let's examine what usually happens when politicians enter office because I have realized that some people don't understand what usually happens. I want to remain as objective as possible and I do not want to appear as if I'm mudslinging politicians. Let's understand how this game is being played and you will pit yourself as a voter and a citizen of this country. Now guys, please understand this. The motivation behind becoming a politician has nothing to do with earning a salary. Hakuna politician anaingia ka ofisi kutafuta mshahara hiyo sahau kabisa. If it was all about salaries, people would not waste time campaigning. There is no point to fight tooth and nail so that you become a politician so that you can earn a salary of a million or less. The motivation behind becoming a politician is to loot public resources. You heard me right. Kazi ya maana ya politician ni kuiba pesa, taxpayers money, okay? Only a small fraction of politicians genuinely want to lead and utilize resources well. The rest they want to loot, loot, loot. Na sio ati sio wajinga my friends. Sio wajinga. They still in a manner that an ordinary person may not understand well. Some do it mercilessly na wengine wanaiba na huruma. They can do developments like this one. Unapata maybe politician ameiba tu kidogo, they can do a road like this one. You see that road? Yes. The politicians who did the politician who did that aliiba tu kidogo. But those who do it mercilessly wanawaachia barabara kama hii. Okay you remain with a road like that one after their tenure so let me give you an example so that you can understand how politicians fight to win elections remember they don't fight to win elections so that they can represent you well hakuna politician anapigania kiti kwa nguvu akusaidia wewe that is why most people actually confuse yeah most people can't be selfless to that extent hiyo roho ya kusaidia ni ya wachache sana fighting to win an election is an investment for more than 90% of the politicians that is why they spend a lot of money on fuel moving around and bribing voters the money they use on fuel and the money they use for bribing you must be recouped by bribing voters they are investing by fueling their cars they are investing if they win an election they start recouping the investment and not using their salary my friend nisikie vizuri not using the salary they use the method that i want to demonstrate here so let's go to this example you had some politician say that his campaign costs at least 50 million i don't want to name that politician alisema campaign yake peke yake ni 50 million Now, what is the salary of a member of parliament? Let's say a million shillings. I'm not very sure. So sitaki kuenda kwa vitu zenye siko sure sana. I'm just using an example. Let's say that a member of parliament earns 1 million shillings. So this guy wants to use 50 million for campaign. If this guy wants to recoup his investment, you can clearly see that the salary alone cannot do it in about 4 years, okay? Four years, my friend. For instance, in one year, he will have earned only 12 million. After 2 years he will have earned 24 million in 3 years he will have earned 36 million and after 4 years he will have 48 million that will be very close to the end of his term and he will not have made any money in the process so what does he do listen to me The CDF Act provides that the government set aside at least 2.5% of its ordinary revenue for disbursement under the CDF program, okay? So 2.5% of the ordinary revenue, the national government revenue, okay, is disbursed under the CDF program. So three quarters of this amount is divided equitably between the two 10 constituencies. We have 210 constituencies in the country, so the three, the three quarters of that amount is divided between these 210 constituencies. The remaining uh, four quarter is uh, of course uh, divided based on the poverty index to cater for poorer constituencies, so hiyo ina especially in hardship areas huko. So najua wengi mtauliza, sasa hii pesa ni ngapi? 2.5% hii ni ngapi? The allocation of 2021 wacha tutumie example ya 2021 it was about 41 billion so if you take 41 billion and you divide by 210 constituencies you will get that each constituency will get about 137 million per year okay so each constituency will have 137 million per year now your mp spend 
about 50 million to do what? To campaign. Now, this MP of yours has been given 137 million. He wants to recoup his investment kwa pesa yenye alitumia kwa campaign akiwapea kama handout, akifiwe ili magari yake, akipea agents wake. So what does he do? He identifies a project. For example, let's say a classroom. Wanakuwanga wanapenda mambo ya elimu sana. So they identify something like a, class, a classroom. So he does a proper survey and he is told that maybe the classrooms will cost about 2 million shillings. What does he do? Remember, the classrooms cost about 2 million. So, anafanya nini? Together with his committee, they inflate the cost to about 3.5 million. So, when they in inflate the cost to 3.5 million, you can see that there is an extra 1.5 million on that cost, okay? So, whoever wants to construct those classrooms, th those contractors, when you want to kuomba kazi kwa MP, Whoever wants to construct the classrooms must wire 1.5 million to the MP's account. Ushaelewa? Once the MP has 1.5 million, sasa anapea huyo contractor 3.5 million. Sasa contractor alikuwa na deficit ya 1.5, anapewa 3.5, sasa ya anabaki na 2 million. Are you getting the trick? So the MP has 1.5 million from the project and the contractor has 2 million and he will do the project. So the MP will do that on several projects and that is how these politicians recoup their investment. Umenipata vizuri? Now, what about county governments? County governments also use the same trick. Governors are the big boys and girls in this game. Let's look at one example. County governments usually have big projects. Our wanapewanga ma billion ya pesa and they do projects worth tens of millions and hundreds of millions of projects. So let's look at one example of a project. We have a project worth 30 million. Okay? 30 million. A project worth 30 million. And the governor used a lot of money for campaigns and they want to recoup this money. So what do they do? they inflate the cost to about 50 million, okay? They inflate the cost to about 50 million. So for you to win the tender, because they have to give you a tender to construct uh, something or to do something, so for you to win something, you have to wire 20 million to the governor's account, okay? And after you wire the money, the governor will now give you 50 million. Now when you have 50 million, you have 30 million. Because you had a deficit of 20 million. So, una pay 50, alafu una back in a 30, and you do the project. Remember, the money cannot be traced easily. These leaders have multiple accounts. So, you're a politician, you have to have an account more than billion, my friends. They have multiple accounts. So once you are the 20 million and they give you the 50 million, hapo mutu ameiba 20 million clean money. Clean money, okay? With the 20 million, they do many electronic transfers so that investigators can sweat to figure out how the money was transferred. Some even have friends as bank managers who cover the tracks of the money. Or wana cover kabisa hiyo pesa siyonekane ime move na mnagani. So ni ngumu sana kufuata hiyo pesa kujua ujama aliba pesa na mnagani. Alternatively, alternatively, some have shell companies where you can wire the money. The companies only exist on paper, okay? So the money can't be traced with ease to, with ease to the politician. You remember when we had the NYS scandal, the National Youth Service, it awarded a multi-million tender to an unknown company. Your company is Julikani, okay? So some companies belong to politicians and politicians' kid where you can wire the money. Na hai Julikani, yo, yo pesa imeenda kwa company gani, okay? Unapata mtoto wa politician na kwa na 1 billion kwa account. And you cannot trust the politician to that money. And you cannot question the kid. So ataona ni kama unangilia familia. And that is how, my friend, the money is being looted to compensate for the costly campaigns. Now, if you get to what my friends, when they steal, they don't care about the suffering of the common manainji. So, si anza kuuliza hapa maswali ati, mbona, mbona wa situfikirie, oh, tunaumia sana, mbona wanatuibia pesa, wazosike. My friend, when they steal, they don't care about the suffering of the common manainji. It's like a ritual they took. They took a ritual, okay? So, anaeza sikia watu wanakufa njaa, huko turukana, but lazima pewe kickback yake ya 10 million, okay? Lazima pewe kickback yake ya 10 million. Akisha pewa hiyo kickback ana feature kwa offshore accounts. Remember, sometimes hii njaa inataka tu kitu kama 2 million or 3 million. You buy food for the people and you have solved their problem, okay? But he has to steal this money because it's like a ritual he takes. It's like something that uh, ni kashetani fulani yung politicians wana kuanga nayo. Hawa jamaa wana kuanga na roo kama ya wanyama. Wananga uruma, that is why 
they even assassinate the opponents who try to question them okay so he can steal 1 billion shillings without empathizing with the suffering of the public ati mwanza kulia ati oh atuna dawa hospitali oh ati atuna maji oh ati barabara zetu but they don't care they vowed to steal and they will steal and steal and, and keep the money in offshore accounts okay and they even even facilitate their friends to steal also see at wana tosheka wao wenyewe wakiiba they also help their friends to steal for example you've heard that some people are supplying air to the government and they are given 100 million 100 million that is a million dollars my friend hata watu wenye wako US people in developed countries they just wish to make a million dollars but in Kenya people make that easily in politics okay so when politicians steal a lot of money they also facilitate their friends to steal by giving them tender umesikianga ile joke atumelipwa kama tender so they give them tenders to supply even air una supply to it anything even air and you are given a hundred million some even buy wheelbarrows my friend unasikia wheelbarrow imenuliwa ya hundred thousand a hundred thousand worth of a wheelbarrow inanuliwa na anatoka hapo anaenda anakuwa speaker akisha atoka huko anakuja tena anataka kiti ya governor and you will vote for him and you will steal again so that he can hide the money kwa sababu ile roho ya kuiba bado yuko so this this is what these guys do my friend this is what they do behind the scenes. Now, with such an approach, my friends, they cannot manage to implement even what they promised. Hata hao wanajaribu kufanya maendeleo yenye wale jaribu kupromise watu wanashindwa because they have to compensate for what they used during the campaigns. They may spend the entire period in office recouping the investment and looting public funds. For example, mmesikia MPs wanapata only 137 million. 137 million. Sasa hiyo utarudisha 50 million lini? Ukianza kuiba ka million, ka 2 million, 1 million, 2 million. Kurudisha 50 million ni ngumu sana. So you can spend almost your entire period in office trying to recoup the investment. Okay? And that is why you heard that MPs are now complaining that they want the money to be increased, allocation to the constituencies. They want the money to be increased. As you can see there, on Apple, on that is the report, my friend. They want the money to be increased so that they can steal more to compensate for the campaigns, okay? And that, my friend, is how money is looted. Now, Kenya is excelling. Kenya is excelling in global corruption rankings. Out of 180 countries, remember, out of 180 countries, according to the Transparency International, we are at position 128 in the least corrupt countries. So, ni kidogo tuna tunasilip, tunafika huko 180. Yani, sisi tunafanya vizuri sana when it comes to corruption. With that, my friend, it is a miracle. It's a miracle how this country is not bankrupt yet. Ata president mwenye wa alisema 2 billion is stolen daily. The, the president, remember the head of state, anasema 2 billion is stolen daily. It is, my friend. And with the 2 billion being stolen daily, it's even a wonder of the world why this country is not bankrupt yet. Lakini that is how the money is stolen. As I finish this, guys, as I finish this stack of Kwachosha Sana, stealing public money is very easy, especially if you are an elected leader. If it was difficult, we wouldn't have this many corruption scandal. We have many corruption scandals because stealing public funds is very easy when you are close to power. So, when you are charged with safeguarding public resources after an election, na umilitumia pesa nyingi sana, you use that trick to get kickbacks and steal money from the public. So, as you prepare to vote, as you prepare to vote, my friends, just know that ule politician anatembea kipeana handout, akijaribu kutumia pesa yake nyingi kukampaign, after they win the election, they must recoup the investment and the amount of money they use, they steal. You're trying to recoup the investment is enough to build your stream, is enough to educate your children, is enough to solve hunger problems, is enough to provide employment for you. So that is how it happens. So how can we change this? By not allowing politicians to invest in politics. Politics should not be an investment. It should be leadership. It should be selfless. They should come out and say, we want to lead and we will do this and that. Not using money, trying to bring groups together, kuwapea pesa. If they do that, that is an investment and they will steal. So you, the Kenyan people, we are the only people who will change this narrative. As long as mnauliza pesa kutoka kwa politicians, nao lazima wairudishe. So thank you for listening to me and stick around here at Legrand Media.